the Volkswagen Tiguan has gone up in the world. The new car is more upmarket than before and it's bigger. That, however, means higher prices. Can the new Tiguan compete with its more upmarket rivals? We're testing the 2 litre TDI 190 PS R line with a DSG transmission. The 1,723 kilogram curb weight gives an 85% match figure of 1,465 kilos. The legal towing limit is just over 2.3 tonnes. We've matched the Tiguan to a Swift Expression 646 with a mass in running order of 1,453 kilograms. The 190 PS engine may be a little noisier than the 150 PS version, but there's no arguing with its power and performance. It's pulled the Swift from 30 to 60 miles per hour in just 10.9 seconds. The Tiguan can handle itself in an emergency maneuver too. Even with the caravan beginning to slide behind it, the VW stayed on course in the lane change test. Sports suspension, standard on R-Line models, contributes to this composure. If you need to brake hard rather than change lane, the Volkswagen stops well, needing just 10.3 metres to bring car and caravan to a halt on a dry track. Touch wood, you'll never need to swerve violently while towing or really stand on the brakes, in which case you're more likely to notice how stable the Tiguan is at speed. At 60 miles per hour on the motorway, or at up to 70 miles per hour on the test track, we found it to be very secure. You notice how much more upmarket the new Tiguan is as soon as you step inside. It's a definite improvement on most mainstream rivals, as well as the old car, and there's a TFT display in place of conventional dials on SEL and R-Line spec cars. However, some of the plastics on the lower dash and doors are rather hard. It may be based on the same platform as the cheaper Seat Ateca, but this is a longer car and there's noticeably more rear legroom in the VW. The boot is a useful size too, and it's easy to fold the back seats down. However, whereas some rivals have a third row of seats, the Tiguan is strictly a five-seater. With a £37,000 price tag, the Tiguan is not short of serious competition. The likes of the Kia Sorento and the Skoda Kodiak both offer better value for money. But the Volkswagen tows really well. In fact, it only just missed out on a gong at the 2017 Tow Car Awards. It's roomy for five, it's quick, and most importantly of all, it's very stable. 